today's video I'll show you how to clean a disgusting barbecue as you can see it has been cleaned for a while but it's extra extra dirty so we'll do a step by step how how to clean it and then it will look like brand new fingers crossed Okay, what we'll need is extra long gloves, a pair of gloves. They really like those from this company, Elbow Grease. And I like the color and they are extra long. So we need a pair of good gloves. We'll need a plastic container like this. We'll need some very liquid, more concentrated, probably better. So we need some of that. And we'll need some of stainless steel scalsus. So we'll use them to scrape all the dirt and we need some warm water so first thing we'll do is we'll fill the container with the warm water add some of our ferro liquid and then we're gonna soak our metal part from the grill so all the metal parts all those are gonna go in and we'll get that soaked and then we're gonna scrape it with with this or of course you can use a normal sponge if you've got a normal sponge you probably want to use this part because it's better to get the grease off or scrub daddy will do the job uh, just as good okay we have filled up our box with warm water and now we're gonna add some fair liquid of course you need enough water to put um, a metal part of barbecue inside so they are covered. Now we're gonna add some fairy liquid. We're gonna put our gloves now. Okay, uh, I really recommend the gloves from this company. They're really nice and stylish. They look nice and clean. Well, in a minute they want it. Okay, we're gonna remove all the metal parts like this, all of it, and it's gonna soak in in the soapy water basically. So all of this and this part as well. It's gonna go. to put it on the bottom as much as you can so it's all covered and soaked fully if you've got one of the bigger one like this Simply we're gonna soak it on this side and then we're gonna move it around and switch it and soak on the other side. To make sure it's soaked from all the sides. This part as well we'll do the same, we're just gonna soak it in water, wash it with the water, soapy water, and it will be completely fine with the cleaned. Even though it's extra dirty and then we're gonna worry about the bottom and the rest later okay we can simply start brushing this off as i'm holding my camera i can't show you but i'm gonna be basically simply washing it with soapy water scrubbing it and i'll show you how much it's gonna come off at the end when i take them off. okay this is really easy to come off so not much of the effort and then I'm just gonna wash it all off. I'll show you from this side. And then once I finished, because I can't hold the camera and do that, so I will finish this. And then I will just simply switch the sides. Finish on this side. And then of course I will have to turn them around wash them off from this side too so i'll show you when i finish fully just with soapy water warm soapy water and one of those okay those are completely clean now 
as you can see both of those and this one and it I didn't need to soak it in so after five minutes I started to wash it off um, and didn't need any scrubbing at all and believe me it wasn't clean washed for a while easily I could use a normal sponge to clean it uh, so it took me probably five minutes I just need to wash it with the cold water now just to wash it off and um, the washing of liquid and I'm gonna tell my husband it took me four hours okay, those three parts we have washed with clean water and we're gonna dry out Okay, now to the most disgusting part, which is the main part in here. So I have to wash it in the soapy water as well. And I will tell my husband that it took me 12 hours to clean, probably. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, so I'm just gonna wash it with the soapy water and see if I can easily remove all that dirt. If not, I will keep you updated. Okay, so we're gonna wash it with the soapy water. Okay, of course this is not gonna fit our box, magic box, with soapy water, but we can easily move it around. So we're gonna wash one part and then move on to the other and the other and easily we can rotate this so it's not a problem at all. And I will show you once I'm done. But I've got a feeling it's coming off nicely, even by rubbing it with the gloves. So I've got big hopes for this definitely gonna tell my husband I took me 12 hours to clean yeah I think it's easily coming okay, I'm not gonna bore you to death but I'm gonna use just a sponge and clean it from both sides as you can see it's quite a thick layer of dirt I will see you in a okay quick update as I had a feeling this coming off very nicely very quickly the same as the other five minutes even though it looked really filthy um, just with a warm soapy water, so I'll show you guys without even scrubbing. So, oh, my box gonna come. I can't even scrub hard because my box will turn around, but you can see, you can tell. Look at that. two seconds job even if you think that your barbecue is really dirty and nothing gonna help it I can tell you soapy water that will come off okay this is how it looks when it's done it was easily done and all the dirt came off it looks like brand new all you need to do is just wash it off the foam and to be honest I thought it's gonna take me ages and it won't come off but it easily came off and it's like brand new so if your barbecue is dirty as mine then you can definitely employ me and I will come and charge you a lot of money and show up with uh, some soapy water and get it done for you for a lot of money okay this part took me about 10 minutes to clean but I'll show you something this is our water after cleaning the barbecue this is just um, obviously uh, those three parts and it's completely black so, some dirt definitely came off. That was funny. Why this is drying, we're gonna move on to this bit. So, first of all, we're gonna remove bigger chunks like this. Just gonna bend that, pick up all the bits from underneath. So, we'll pick up all this, throw it inside. And then we're gonna clean this with a change of water, of course. Clean this just with a soapy water inside, outside.
Okay, I was planning to get rid of this water first, but we might as well use it for inside. So we're gonna use this, the same one. We don't need it to change it. We're gonna use the same one to clean inside. Even with this water, it doesn't matter. Because we're cleaning bottom of the barbecue. And we're gonna clean inside it. So, we're gonna clean all the base with the same water. We need one of those to scrub it. As you can see, it's a nice layer of dirt in here as well. So, we've got a chair in here. So we've got a container closer to the barbecue so we can go back and forth. Okay, I will need to soak it probably because it's proper dry out. And then probably I'll put the camera down and start properly scrubbing it off. As this part definitely will need some good cleaning. And I'll show you. Okay, quick update. So, um, I have cleaned half of it pretty much. And is, I can confirm that easily it came off. It's nearly, you can see yourself in if you really wanted to, I guess. So it's coming off pretty nicely. As you can see, this is the part which I haven't cleaned. So really dirty. But don't forget, this is the base of the barbecue. So I'm still using that dirty water, but that's fine. It's coming off really, really nicely and without any chemicals, which I'm really happy about. So I will finish the other half and then the only thing which I'm regretting is when I got rid of all the big bits to the bottom of it I should have removed it straight away while it was dry but I waited and obviously I used water now so the water went in and it's all gonna be wet and dirty so that's not ideal so I'm gonna finish the other half and then I will finish the rest so I will show you after I finish now as you can see it's nice and shiny you can nearly see yourself so what we're gonna do because my battery has died on my camera I'm using my phone so I'm gonna use a sponge make it wet wash this off quickly the soap I'm gonna change the water I could use the same water but it's so filthy that is so disgusting and revolving so I'm gonna change the water just because I'm gonna with a sponge just clean this quickly uh, on this side and this side I could of course wait till my camera is loaded and charged but there is a big hope I'm gonna have a barbecue tomorrow so everyone's invited definitely come we're gonna grill some good sausage there I made a sponge wet and I quickly wipe it off to show you this is how a sponge looks like Okay, we've got um, clean water in here, of course, warm water we're using again, and we're gonna add some sherry, and we're gonna finish the top. Okay, then we're gonna clean first of all the top, because it's less dirty, and then inside, and then side in here. And we'll be done. Okay, we're getting finally to the end. I've washed bottom cover inside and outside and then sides I have cleaned in here in here the same water of course bottom wheels and we have to finish the last bit so I'm gonna throw it in here now in the same water wash that that's the last part and just clean water I'll use a clean water just to get rid of the foam and we're done Okay, we nearly finished cleaning a barbecue. Now we're just gonna add this bottom part in here. So it's just gonna go in here. As you can see, it's like new. So I'm gonna put it in here, of course. The bottom, it doesn't have to be perfect because this goes up the bottom anyway. Next, next thing is we putting the main part here on the top. Also, it's cleaned really nicely everything came off and the last bit I'm gonna go in okay everything's done now it looks like we're really like a new one really I will take a picture so you can compare before and after and the barbecue season officially started 